You're gonna be cold, what? Bro, you're gonna be lifting so much, so heavy, bro. If you just start out training and you get, and you fueling yourself properly, you just eating whatever you start, you getting your calories right? Oh my goodness, bro. <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's your boy Glup here. Know you ain't heard my voice in a little minute. We back on the grind, you already know. Now check me out. A couple days ago, I posted a poll on my YouTube channel, on my little community tabs. I said, would you rather be strong AF with a below average physique or would you rather be aesthetic but weak? And most of y'all, a lot of y'all actually, put strong AF with a below average physique. This had me thinking, most of y'all would rather be strong, meaning 225 plus in bench, 315 plus in squat, 145 plus in OHP, or 405 in deadlift. That's strong, right? That's so those are strong lifts. So if y'all would rather hit those, why don't y'all dirty bulk or why are y'all so against dirty bulking? Because let's face it, y'all. If you don't have 220, if you don't have any of the lifts that I just said, you need to be dirty bulking. I am gonna say it straight like that. I'm not gonna say everybody's goal is the same, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, everybody wants to be as big as possible while being as strong as possible, right? I'm not gonna do that as a beginner lean bulking. I hate to say it, bro. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I'm gonna just say it straight like that. Unless your genetics are just crazy, it's gonna take you way longer to hit these lifts and get out of the novice new phase in a lean bulk than in a dirty bulk. Now, if you are somebody that has a background of poor heart health or, you know, you have health problems, you may have diabetes, whatever, any pre-existing health conditions, then, and if you're just trying to go about it the healthy way, a hey, all power to you, health comes first, you should go ahead and do that, right? But I'm talking to the mass majority, if you built like a broomstick, if you literally built like this toothbrush right here, if you like 110, 120, 130, you are just starting out lifting, you're just starting out eating right and whatever, you should be able to eat, you should eat anything in your sight. You feel I me? Mean? You should be you should be demolishing anything that you see. Just eating, just tearing it up straight up. When you beginning, bro, when you are a beginning lifter, you have the advantage of, of newbie gains, bro. Now, what are newbie gains? Newbie gains refers to the rapid increase in muscle and strength that often occurs when people with little to no previous weightlifting experience start training intensively. Now, they all mind me looking down. I'm literally reading this shit off my laptop. The reason newbie gains happen is because your body, the training dramatically spikes muscle protein sy synthesis. Muscle protein synthesis, which basically means your body is kicking your muscle building, reaction whatever into overdrive so you're getting all these crazy lifts all these crazy gains because you're being exposed to this new type new type i can't speak new type of training right this phase usually lasts between six months to a year and if you use this properly which most people don't i'm not gonna lie including myself most people don't use this phase properly if you use this properly bro you will, you will you will get out of the novice phase way easier way faster than most people because face it most people don't really train with any intention any purpose and most people don't know what they're doing in the gym you feel me so if you go into this if you go into your newbie games and you do it the right way you will get out of the novice phase fast and you will hit all the lifts that i mentioned in the beginning of the video now how do you take advantage of your newbie game phase the biggest thing in training we can all agree on is diet, right? And when you dirty bulk and you're just getting as much calories in as possible, this is going to help you get stronger in all of your lifts. Not only is your muscle protein synthesis, damn, not only is, you know, your body reacting to this new training stimuli, new whatever, not only is it reacting to that, but it's also getting all these different calories, you know, this increase, this surplus in calories to help fuel and help build muscle. Bro, you're going to be cold. You're going to be cold, what? Bro, you're going to be lifting so much, so heavy, bro. If you just start out training and you get, and you fueling yourself properly, you just eating whatever you start, you getting your calories right? 
Oh my goodness, bro. <laughs> we trying to tell y'all, man, but a lot of people don't listen. A lot of people really think that, and, not, and I'm not even talking about intermediate, whatever lifters, right? I'm talking about beginners. I'm talking about noobs, bro. I be trying to spit this game. I be trying to give y'all knowledge, but for some reason, for some reason, I don't know why, but the fitness YouTube and whatever the game is, has this negative, negative, negative view on dirty bulking, right? They try to make y'all stay away from dirty bulking by any means possible. And I understand dirty bulking isn't all positives. It isn't, it isn't all sunshines and rainbows, right? There's a lot of downsides, you know, as I mentioned before, cardiovascular health. So if you're somebody with a history or your, it runs in the family, your heart isn't right, you might have to watch your diet and might have to watch what you eat. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Or dirty bulking, with bulking in general, you're gonna gain some fat, but with dirty bulking, you are more prone to gaining more fat. It is what it is. But I'm not saying that dirty bulking is perfect. I'm just saying that gonna be, if you're really somebody that's trying to train serious and you're really trying to like progress in your lifts, you're somebody that really cares more about getting the most out the gym, then I'm, that's just something you have to do. It's something you have to be doing. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. I'm just keeping a book with y'all. To people, instead of just seeing people de demonize dirty bulking, bro, look into it and do your own research. If it was so bad for you and it and it, what, and it didn't work and it was so trash, it wouldn't even be a thing. Well, that's cap, but you get my point. Stop demonizing dirty bulking. Bro, look at this. Look at this. There's some fries. Look at all that grease. Fries. I have eaten. Don't even get on me about the about the chicken chicken leg, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't rocking with it like that, but I still ate a good amount. You know, I'm still getting my way <laughs> with dirty bulking or lean bulking. You will still make gains. Don't get it twisted. Don't don't make it seem like I'm saying you not you won't have gains with lean bulking. But if you're in your newbie phase, you just started the gym, bro. I heavily, heavily, heavily recommend dirty bulking. You need to be dirty bulking, bro. No if, ands, or buts about it. You need to be dirty bulking, okay? So this is kind of my part two, part three, part four. How many dirty bulking videos have I made? I don't even know. But anyway, y'all like, comment, subscribe, share this to somebody that needs it. You feel me? And this glue up here, I'm out.